Now, once we understand the use effect hook, let's talk about the React Next hook, which is use contact. React use context hook makes it easy to pass data throughout your app without manually passing props down to the tree. There are three main steps inside this hook. First, creating the context, then providing the context, and consuming the context. Let's suppose that you want to pass parent component value to the child component. For that, you create a parent component and pass property to it. And if you want to access this property in the child component, you have to call the child component and pass data to it. Now, this is what we call property drilling. Or you can say prop drilling. Prop drilling can become an issue in itself because it's repetitive code. So, what is the best way to fix this issue? To solve this, we can use use context hook. Use context is used when some data need to be accessible by many components at different nesting levels. So, let's understand the use context hook with very simple example. So, inside this application, let's suppose that I have a constant variable at the top, right up here, with the value my context value. Now, let's suppose that you want to pass this value to your child component. Instead of using prop drilling, we are using context API. So, let's suppose that we have here a component, my component. And to this my component, I want to pass this value property. So, let me first specify this my component right here. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use context API to pass value to all the descendant components. So, at the top, right up here, I'm going to import two functions. First is create context and second is use context. As the name implies, the create context is used to create a context and the use context is, is allow you to use the previous context value. So, just after this import statement right down here, you can create your own context. So, let me create here a context constant context is equal to and call this create context hook. And just after that, you specify here your default value. So, I'm going to pass here default value. Now, that's upon you. You can pass any value here. And just after that, you call this context inside your my component. So, to call this, you need to use this use context hook. So, right down here, you, you call constant value is equal to use context and then pass this context value, this one, to this my component. And just out of that, as you know, inside this create context, we have this string default value. Now, if I save the changes, I'm going to get this default value as a response. If I change this to initial value, then I'm going to have that value right here. You can notice. Now, what I want, I want to change this value and pass this app value, this parent component value to this child component. To do that, we are going to wrap this my component inside the context provider. The context provider is nothing but a simple wrapper to your app component. And using that provider, you can access the value of your parent component in any child component. So, let me get rid of this my component right from here. And here, I'm going to call new component. The component name is context dot provider and inside this and inside this you call your component and just after that you need to pass this value to this provider so you pass here value is equal to and in the curly braces i'm going to pass this value this one now this statement is now going to change the default value now when i save the changes you can see i'm going to have here my context value now i can access the app component value in my child component very easily now, let's suppose that you want to pass this same value to your nested child element. You don't have to do anything. You have to just pass this statement in your nested child and you can access that value inside your nested child component as well. So, this is a very simple use of use context. Now, let's understand the real world example of use context. Now, let's suppose that you want to create a store in your React application, which is accessible by all the components. What we are going to do is inside the React application, I'm going to create store.js file. And inside that file, we are going to first import React, use state, and create context. As you know, to create a context, you need to import that from the React library. Just after that, as you can see in the app.js, we need to specify the initial value to this context. So inside the store.js, let me create a new object and specify initial value to it. So instead of just creating initial value, I'm going to say here x constant initial state or you can say value that's upon you you can specify any name to this variable and then you specify here value i'm going to specify object here like this and then specify here property session then specify here property token and username as well as i also want to specify function to this initial state so right down here i'm going to call that function so i'm going to call here get token then pass a function to it now this function is used to access this token 
I'm going to pass this initial state to this contact. So let me just pass that right down here. I'm going to say constant theme context is equal to create context, this function, and then as initial value, we specify the initial state, this one. And just out of that, just out of this state, right down here, I'm going to create this provider, this one. So what I'm going to do is instead of passing this provider to the app component, I'm going to create and export a function. So I'm going to say here export constant theme provider is equal to and then pass here the component. And inside this component, I'm simply going to return the context provider. So I'm going to just call this wrapper context dot provider. You don't need to call this context inside this store dot jet. Instead, as you can see, you name the context theme context. So instead of context dot provider, now we call here theme context dot provider, something like this. Using this theme context, you can access the provider. And just out of that, to this provider, I'm going to specify value. Instead of just passing the static value to this provider, what I'm going to do is here I'm going to create a state. So I'm going to say here constant in the array, I'm going to say session, comma, state, session is equal to use. And then inside this use state hook, I'm going to say initial state dot session. So I'm going to just initialize this object to this session. And then I'm going to pass this value to this theme provider right here. So I'm going to pass your value in the object. I'm going to pass another object, something like this. And here I'm going to say session and set session. So I'm going to pass both these values to this object right here. So now I can access this state in any child component. And also I can change the value of the state using this set station function. So inside this theme context, instead of passing any component, I'm going to pass the children. So inside this parenthesis, here I'm going to call children. And then I'm going to pass that right here. So I'm going to say here children. We need to just wrap the app component inside this theme provider. Now at the bottom, you have to just export the default theme context. Now once you export the theme context, just back to the home.js file. Now you can see I already have this home.js component inside this component folder. I'm going to open that. You have to create this file. And inside this file, let me just simply create a component. So I'm going to say here export default. The component name is home. And after that, inside this home, what I want to do is I want to access this use context as well as this state. So to access that, I need to first import here a statement. Inside this, I'm going to import the theme context. So I'm going to import this default theme context like this, and then import the initial state, this one. Just for that, let me add the import react at the top. And here inside this component, I'm going to call the return statement and return a simple division tag, something like this. Inside this div, I'm going to first create a button. So I'm going to call here a button and to this button, I'm going to specify the on click event on it. Let me specify function here. Otherwise, I'm going to get an error. So I'm going to specify here function home. And inside this, I'm going to return a division tag with a button with on click event handler. And let me just create this event handler inside this home. So right here, I'm going to say function handle click. And then inside this function, I'm going to console.log the context state. So let me just get this context inside this home.js file. So to get that, what you have to do is you have to just call the use context inside this application. So at the top, you have to say import in the object you call use context from React. And then inside the, your component, you simply call constant in the object, you say session and set session. As you know, you can access both these variables because we specify this to this provider, you can see. Now, just for that, once you have your session and set session, you can get this from the context. So to get the context, you need to use here, use context hook. And inside this use context, you need to specify your context object. As you know, this is your context object. Just copy it and specify that here. You have this context object from this store.js file. Just for that, once you have your session, simply going to console.log this session 
and use this set session to change the value of this session variable. So I'm going to just see here set session and then I'm going to specify the previous value first and then specify the new value to this session. After that, let me just print this session. So inside this division tag right down here, I'm going to print authorized token session dot token. Now when I save the changes back to the app.js and here we need to import that home.js file. Let me get it off all this statement right from here now what you have to do is you have to just wrap your app component inside this theme provider as you know we specify name to this function theme provider so i'm going to access that inside this app.js right up here so i'm going to say here import in the object we specify theme provider from dot forward slash specify component and specify the store dot js file and you have to just specify this theme provider right here something like this and then pass your home component i'm going to say here import home from the component dot home file and you call that home right inside your app component you don't need to pass any value to your theme provider because we already specify that inside the store.js you can notice we already have the wrapper to the theme so we just need to call this theme provider and then specify that to the parent component so once we've done that let me save the changes you can see i'm going to have the result something like this so the authorized token is secret as you know inside the store.js we have this authorized token secret and now when i click on this button it's going to change the value of this authorized token you can see we have now new value this is, this is because in the home.js we specify this token value new value and you can see inside the console you will get the previous value which is token secret username daily tuition we change this value using this set session statement so when we click on this button i'm going to call this handle click handler function call this set session and change the initial state of the contacts now if you want you can get the initial state from this initial state variable as well this variable is going to allow you to access the initial state of your store next we'll talk about the use reducer so 